Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I am here today to share a few more things with you um, using ScrapDivaDesigns.com um, her dies for the September release. Um, this is Erica's website. Okay, and then here is all of the information, all of her socials. Make sure you follow along the hashtag ScrapDivaDesigns. There's tons of inspiration there. So, anyway, I will link everything below. So let me get started and show you some more things that I have made. Um, first off, I use the um, poison bottle shakers. Okay, um, I shared with you before some tiny little tags that I use using the tiny little poison tag that came with it. Um, but on this share, I'm gonna show you some cute little bottles that I made. I did make shakers out of them all. So these ones have just a regular um, acetate on top. I have the tiny little poison tag attached and some, just some um, uh, eyelash trim. I layered up the, um, the cork. I put a little ephemera piece right here. This is a clear sticker from Hey Pumpkin. That's the uh, collection I'm using. And that's, this is from Hey Pumpkin also. So I just, you know, added a few little pieces. So it's not decorated a lot, just, just kind of minimally. So anyway, but there's that one. And then I did one real similar. Um, this one I used the skull and crossbones <clears throat> on it. Those, those um, come with the um, set also. So pretty much decorated the same way. And then I also made a big one. This is the larger one. And then um, this one I covered with vellum rather than um, acetate. But it's the same sequence mix inside. And then I used one of the um, Halloween words from the word sets that uh, Eric really released this this month. Lots, three different sets that she released, and there's so many fun words. So this one I layered up on this silver um, uh, foil paper, and then I printed the word out in um, black. Use a little, um, just like a little clay piece for my stash. This web here, I cut out of pink, and that is from the um, Pumpkin Mini Album set. So I use that on here also, and just tied some stuff around. So in this set, you do get um, two sizes of the bottles. So I've, I've showed them um, both here to you, both the sizes. Okay, and they both have the shaker piece to make shakers out of them. They each come with their own poison tag, um, so, you know, sized properly. And then they both have the uh, layering piece for the cork. And then they both have the bones and then the skeleton, you know, bigger size and smaller size. So you get the two complete things in the um, poison bottle shaker set. So very fun. So I made those. And then um, I made some more of the um, bag toppers I shared with you before. So this is the bag topper. Um, I think this is one. I can't remember which direction it goes. I think there's three sets. There's one. I got a one and a three, I think. So a large one and a small one. So I just made some more of the plain. I didn't decorate these. These are just all layered up and ready to go. And they're pretty much cut the same way but it is a super fun die and this is good for you know the smaller bags for bag toppers okay and then I used the larger size one and you get all the same pieces let me show you so you get your actual bag topper piece up here you're gonna cut this out twice and then fold these down and put them together and then you get this piece would go next layered on okay and then this piece next in the layering and then your skull piece that cuts out the eyes and the nose and then it comes with the bow and the layering pieces for the bow okay you get all those for both um, you know in each set you get all those pieces okay so this is a large set so on this one I decided rather than making bag toppers I would just show you what it looks like just to make a an embellishment so it has all the pieces. I've used all the pieces other than just this black piece, which is, you know, the background, which is the actual bag topper. But the rest of it, it makes a super cute um, embellishment. So these aren't, you know, popped up or anything like that up on. They're just all layered with paper, but they're not popped up on foam or anything else and not decorated. 
and again I'm using hay pumpkin so there's a little bit of different the different patterns there so that is a very fun addition to your um, arsenal I believe because <laughs> so, there's so many uses for that okay and then um, last up I just want to share real quickly I used um, this is the um, pumpkin mini album so it comes with all these pieces let me show you okay <clears throat> so you get these two so this is the biggest piece right here just the like the for your base and then you got a little bit smaller um, stitched piece right here and these both these pieces have this stem okay all right <clears throat> so you have those two okay and then you have these um, other layering pieces so these are three different sizes one is you know of course the biggest on the outside and then two smaller layers um, that have both have stitching okay but this one if you notice it doesn't have the um, stem on top so if you have a page um, you can have it layered with the stem or without however you want to do it okay and then you also get this piece which fits in to any of these pieces you can make it fit inside any of them depending on which you know how big you want it um, and this just will just cut out the face for you okay but you don't have to use that obviously you can just make it pumpkins and so if you want to just do a fall project without making it a jack-o-lantern you could de definitely do that and just you know use all these but if you want to use it for the jack-o-lantern then you just then you just put that right there okay and then it also comes with all <clears throat> of these extra pieces so you have this um i showed you the the web i used on one of my other on my potion bottle okay and then it has this um spider that is hanging down okay you also have this spider right here um that's not hanging and then you have um a small pumpkin and then layering pieces for the on top of that small pumpkin and then your two leaves for if you want to you know make it more like a fall project so it comes with all those pieces. <clears throat> so let me show you what I did. I didn't make a mini album yet. I made um, I made this as a um, just like an embellishment, and I have it on this wrap that I've um, created underneath here. So <clears throat> what I used was I used both of these layers. So these two are layered up. So if you can see right here, we got the black and orange stripe piece back there. And then this white piece is a second layer. And then this third layer, <clears throat> I used the smallest one that they had, uh, that came with it without the stem. And then I put this inside of it, cut it at the same time um, to cut out the face. So what you do is just take a piece of tape and you know, um, tape these together so it will stay in place when you go to cut it, okay? And then that will cut out your um, your jack-o'-lantern face. So then I just put some black paper behind it so like you could see the, the eyes and, and the mouth and stuff easily. So and this is out of that Cricut paper, okay? Just tied some more seam um, eyelash trim. Here is another word from the Halloween word set, carving. And then I put a cute little cat um, piece up here and then this is the bow um, another one of the bows from this release also it's the um, spider bow okay and it's all layered up and then I just um, have a little um, plastic pick that I stuck down behind here um, back here in the back is some of this um, you know like spider web type stuff from Joann's that trim and then it's attached to this wrap that's going around this box. So I think it turned out super cute. Love the love the um, uh, spider die too. It comes, I've shared this before, but it comes in, the set has two um, sizes, two complete sizes. So you got both sides of webs, both sides spiders, there's the wrap for the center, and then um, the two different layering pieces for the bows. Now you can just use these bows without the spider and just put it on the web you could um, use these on top of this on top of the spider not even use the web you could use just these and not even make a Halloween one at all so 
lots of different uses for this, but I, I love this die. So that is what is on top here. So anyway, I think he turned out really cute. And um, there's so many options that you can do to line these up if you decide to do a, you know, like a um, mini album and stuff. Um, so many different sizes and layers that you can put on. So very, very cute. Love it. So anyway, that's what I want to share with you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will make sure that I link um, Erica's website, uh, my affiliate link. Um, if you guys do decide to purchase any, if you use that link of mine, um, it will share a little bit of the um, profit with me and it doesn't cost you any more. Make sure if you do decide to purchase that you absolutely use the discount code. It's Polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10, to save you a little bit of money on your purchase. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will have all the dies I use listed uh, linked down below also. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon with more projects. Bye.